Hello my friends, uh, this is the second part of uh, props section and uh, we are going to talk about the saturation functions and how you can write saturation functions in your data file. Uh, saturation functions include the relative permeability data and also capillary pressure data. So in this section, the satura saturation function, uh, at the end of your pr uh, props section, you need to enter the uh, relative permeability, I mean gas oil relative permeability and water oil relative permeabilities, as well as capillary pressures for uh, gas uh, oil and water oil. So first we have brief uh, review about the relative permeability curves. If you remember relative permeability curves are such uh, in the x-axis we have water saturation or in general wetting phase saturation and here in the y-axis is starting from 0 to 1 and it's the relative permeability. For example here in oil water relative permeability this curve is a, a oil relative permeability and this curve is water relative permeability. So when and here in the x-axis we have water saturation. So when we increase the water saturation, we reach a point that uh, water uh, relative permeability is zero, but all relative permeability is one. And once we are increasing the water saturation, what happens? Uh, when we increase the water saturation, water relative permeability is increasing, and all relative permeability is decreasing. To reach a point that we have zero or related permeability and the maximum water related permeability. So you need to know uh, some terms here. Uh, what is the connect con water saturation? Connect water saturation is the minimum water saturation that you can have in your system. So in your reservoir you can have a water saturation less than connect water saturation. And uh, so this point, the minimum the point that uh, water related permeability is starting, we call the, that connate water saturation, and Eclipse is using SVL term to show that. Okay, and also we have critical water saturation. What is a critical water saturation? So, in the critical water saturation, water is starting to move inside the reservoir. Okay, so it means that. Uh, right now, the water related permeability is deviating from zero. So it's going to take some number above zero. So we call that critical water saturation. And in this saturation, water is starting to move. And it's going to up to the uh, maximum water saturation. It means that the maximum water that you can have in your system. And we have similar terms for the for the or uh, as well and we have for example here a critical oil saturation it means that uh, the max the uh, minimum oil saturation that oil can be can move in inside the reservoir so in general what you need to learn is that you the water uh, the oil water related permeability shape is something like that and there's a function of saturation and the number should be between 0 to 1. We have similar terms and similar trends for the gas or relative permeability as well and you can see here in this uh, graph. Okay, So how we are we can uh, tell the equis that what is uh, what will be my oil water and or a gas or relative permeabilities. Uh, you, there are two methods to uh, tell the eclipse about the relative permeability curves. Uh, first is using these two terms, SWOF or SGOF. These two keywords are using for the uh, saturation functions in the eclipse. Okay, so SWOF shows the saturation table for water oil and SGOF shows the saturation table for gas oil okay so each keyword is taking a table and table is consisting of four columns as you can see here 
the first column in the table is the water saturation okay for SWOA so you need to have water saturation and remember that water saturation should be in the increasing order so it's starting from the conate water up to the maximum water the second column should be water related permeability so you have water related permeability here the third column is the oil related permeability and the fourth column here is PC it means a capillary pressure between water and oil and similar for the gas oil related permeabilities you have a saturation of gas which is start from minimum points for example here is zero and it's in the increasing order up to for example here in 0 0.8 0 0.84 the second column is a gas related permeability you can see here third column should be or related permeability and the fourth column is pc but here for it's a capillary pressure between gas and oil okay so in this way you can enter your saturation tables uh, there are uh, some points here and you need to consider first is that as I told you the when, when you are for example in the you are using SWOF keyboard okay and the first column which is this water saturation it should start from the critical water conate water saturation okay it should start from the conate water saturation it means that my minimum water saturation should be in the first row here and it's, it's uh, increasing the water saturation to reach to the maximum point and maximum point should be 1 minus SO WCR okay so it means that the maximum point should be uh, maximum saturation should be 1 minus oil critical saturation okay you can see here so your table should start from this point SW L this point and should cover all these data up to this point okay so you need to cover all this data in your uh, data file the next important thing is that a uh, water related permeability here should start from zero so if you put any number other than zero you are going to get error so this number should be zero and this uh, second column which is a water related permeability should be in the increasing order and the next point is a oil related permeability uh, should be the same when you are using the oil related permeability in SWOF it should be the same as the oil related permeability at the first row of SGOF okay so these two values in different keywords should be the same okay this one and this one and also uh, oil related permeability is finishing zero so it, this this should be zero okay again we have similar rules for the uh, gas uh, SGOF keywords so gas oil related permeability and gas uh, saturation should start from the zero okay and ending at one minus SWL okay so this uh, be careful about these two and also uh, S uh, relative permeability for gas is starting from zero it should be zero and in the increasing order and as you know uh, the oil related permeability should end at zero Okay, so in general, the most important thing is that uh, water related permeability is starting from zero, gas saturation is starting from zero, uh, gas related permeability is starting from zero, and oil related permeability finishing zero in both columns. You need to uh, be careful about those. And how about three phase relative permeability? So right now we have we just told the 
eclipse that what will be our water or relative permeability and gas or relative permeability so how about three phase relative permeability eclipse is using some formula something like this to calculate three phase relative permeability so in your data file if you didn't write anything about the three phase relative permeability it means that eclipse is going to use this formula to calculate three phase relative permeabilities but you can tell the Eclipse that what kind of relative uh, three phase relative permeability formula I want you to use. So in this case, you need to write, you need to tell the Eclipse that what will be my model. For example, you can say that please use, for example, SO1 or SO2 uh, relative permeability uh, correlations to calculate three phase relative permeabilities. So, for example, here, if you don't want to use this formula and you want to use Eston 1 or Eston 2 relative permeability, three phase relative permeability correlations. Uh, if, you ask, if you write Eston 1 keyboard, uh, keyboard, Eclipse is going to use Eston 1. And if you write Eston 2 keyboard, Eclipse is going to use Eston 2 keyboard and to calculate three phase relative permeability. But if you didn't write anything, Eclipse is going to use this formula. Another method, method number two uh, for relative permeability data, is using all these keywords, all these keywords instead of these two keywords. Okay, uh, if you are not familiar with the uh, Eclipse, I recommend you to use these two keywords, SWOF and STOF. Uh, but we have another way to to tell the eclipse that another method to tell the eclipse that what will be our relative permeability data and it, that means that using all these keywords okay so this for example swfn is a water saturation function scfn is a gas saturation function and so on so you can use this method as well but i recommend to use it, these two keywords because this one is much easier and to use uh, so basically this is the method that you can uh, tell the exits about your saturation function so in summary in the saturation function you need to tell the eclipse that what is what will be your relative permeability data and what will be your capillary pressure curve so you need to provide these two curves to the to Eclipse, how you can do that? You we have two keywords SWOF and STOF to input these data, these tables. And SWOF is using for water or relative permeability and water or capillary pressure. And STOF is using for gas or relative permeability and gas or capillary pressure. So every each keyword is taking four columns. First column is the saturation, for saturation for example water or gas saturation and second table is a water related permeability gas related permeability and in the stof case is a gas related permeability and oil related permeability and at the end uh, last keyword is a capillary pressure for water oil, or gas oil and if you want to to com convert that to the three phase related permeability you have uh, three options option number one don't do anything it means that eclipse is going to use this formula to calculate three phase relative permeabilities option number two is to use a stone one uh, correlation and you can use a stone one correlation to calculate three phase relative permeability and option three is using a stone two formula and write a stone two keyword to calculate three phase relative permeabilities